Hello, welcome. I am Ellie and we are back. We're going to finish up the surface beachfront today. I got halfway through. We got to bag number four, built this really cute stuff full of lots of details and then I had to go and have a lie down. So, <laughs> and you all yelled at me, but I'm back now and we can start on bag number four. So, bag number four is actually the bag that Ava comes in and... It also has another couple of animals. So we've got the baby dolphin in mint and a baby turtle, baby turtle, baby dolphin. Uh, so, okay, so that's three animals in this set alone so far. We've got Toffee the pug, and uh, we've got a dolphin, and we've got a baby turtle, and now we're building the actual beach, the beachfront bit. <laughs> still, I'm still gonna struggle with that. The beachfront bit of the surface beachfront. Yeah. I mean, there's so much more than, oh, that's a heart. <gasps> oh, so there's a little sandy bit and the, yeah, okay. And the waves or, or the, you know, water bit, the water makes a heart because of course this is, this is a friend set and they like to sneak those little hearts in wherever they can, those sneaky designers. So the waves lapping up onto the sand. They've all got exactly the same print because waves are always identical as we know, just like snowflakes. <laughs> okay, alright, so putting some quarter pie pieces up onto the actual sand parts, some white dots sitting there. So we're going to be putting something on them, I think, and I think this is going to be the something, because it's white too. <gasps> Clips in white. Ooh. Alright, so this is a seat for the sand, so you don't have to sit on the sand. You can sit on the seat in the sand. This is not going well. And there's a really, really cute hibiscus flower on the top, on the, the back, back bit of the seat that's sitting on the sand. Okay, and continuing along here now with the quarter pie pieces to finish up our beautiful, identical, symmetrical waves. Except for that mint one in the middle. It's just mixing it up. Ooh, now we're mixing up the frothy bits down here. Oh, that looks fabulous. Okay, so alternating the blue and the mint colours down in, in the actual water. And we've got, ooh, jumper stud over there. Over here we've got a brown bit and we've just stuck, just stuck a, yeah, thing in there that for a Technique Holy kind of thing. Mm. That was an excellent descriptor, by the way. I, I think I deserve an award for that most wondrous description. Now, this shell has got one of the newish, relatively newish, phosphorescent -y, pearlescent, that's the word I was looking for, pearlescent, oh, pearl happening inside. And we've got the dolphin, swap for the dolphin, and I don't know, this, this is not where they're actually supposed to go, I don't think. Well, maybe they are, I haven't looked ahead in the instructions, but I'm just popping them on here now so we can attach the beach to the pre-existing ice cream shop. And now we have some leaves with some palm bits we've made a palm tree so palm, palm palm it's a palm tree doing well here okay palm tree is beautiful and we can angle it which makes it even more beautiful it's a beautiful palm tree this is a, okay oh oh it's a coconut it's a coconut milk like oh wow this really is very holiday isn't it that's fabulous so we've got a coconut milk drink next to the seat in the sand in the sun next to the surf ha! and in there is a little spot for some yeah just for some random foliage speaking of random foliage was oh we got another palm leaf here can shade the dolphin when the dolphin goes out of the water perfect now here is actually supposed to be where we put the broken eggshell for the baby turtle but as far as i know don't turtles like baby turtles hatch in the sand right and then they have to make their way down to the ocean it's quite a potentially perilous event. So we're going to put this, yeah, the shell here on the sand and we're putting Ava in the shell because I think that's just the perfect place for her to be hatched from because little girls are hatched. Oh my gosh, where am I going with this? Let's take her out again. Okay, right. So we have got the turtle shell. These are the extra parts that we have. Some more, ooh, ooh another pearl. Yeah, we got some, oh, oh, and extra flowers so we can put them in people's hair next to the beach too. That's lovely. Now we're up to bag number five. Now we start building the other part of the actual building, which is where Grandma Nana Nora comes from. Well, no, she doesn't come from the other building. She comes from this bag. I just took her out of the bag earlier so we could see her at the beginning of the first video, which by the way, if you haven't watched, make sure you do check it out because it's very cute. It's full of lots of cute stuff. Now, ooh, mint green panel. I'm pretty sure this is brand new in this color. And we've got a big poster up here with an I love IHLC under it for Hot Lake City. This is, oh, this is the surf shop. I know that because I read it in the descriptor. So we have got a turquoise window with, well, just like we had in the other, in the ice cream shop, but with different colored 
uh, window framey things inside and it's pink outside on the little edge, a white door and a pink flower handle and the sticker has got a surfboard on it but it matches the style and the design of the sticker in the ice cream shop which just makes it all tie in very nicely together. Mm. And the mat is also the same shape but with different colours to the ice cream stall side of the shop. There we go, I did get all those words out in the right order. Yay for me. Okay, mint walls, they're beautiful. What's going up here on the next level? We've got some, yep, some hooky inny bits there for plugging it into the other part. More forward facing studs like we had in the ice cream shop. There's a hook there on the side. And I reckon those forward facing studs will be to put another awning on because that's what we did in the ice cream shop. Ah, oh, smooth top on there too. So we can, this is kind of modular. You could mix it around. I have to have a play with it. Okay, when it's all done, later on, later on, way after this video. So we've got our surf shop shine. <laughs> No, a surf shop sign. There we go. And now we get the awning, which in this case is turquoise and pink. Very pretty. It's lovely. Very vibrant, actually. And then instead of those extended half round pieces that I pretty much failed at putting on the other side straight, we've just got squares, square tiles for this. So I can actually I can straighten them up with my tabletop. There we go. They're as straight as they're ever going to be. <laughs> Another plug over here. And now inside the surf shop, of course, we're going to need some surf gear. So what do we have? What is actual surf gear? Let's find out what we get to equip this shop with. Got a turquoise brick. We've got a yeah, another one of the new cash registers. I reckon this yellow thing is probably sunscreen because sunscreen is super important. Like you can never underestimate the value and the importance of sunscreen. We're up to bag number six. So I'm sure we're going to keep kidding out. No, we're not. Right. We're not going to continue equipping the, uh, the surf shop. We're just like running straight on into the next level. So let's see. This is cute. This one's got a turquoise floor. Another one of those new mint panels. And oh, oh, oh. So this is a little kitchen area with a whole heap of kitchen utensils and a picture of not sure who is it Nora as a young girl with Mia's mom as a baby I just don't know there will be a story here and I have no idea what it is so you will be able to color me surprised when I find out okay on this panel we have got some surf ornamentation and some sunscreen with a 10 on it I I don't know about in other countries, but here in Australia, the like the basic SPF that you have to have on sunscreen is 15 and you really want to have like 50 plus sunscreen if you're going to go in the sun. So I don't know about the 10 on it, unless I'm completely confused and it's for something else. I mean, it, but it looks like the sunscreen shaped bottle, but it does not have a good enough SPF. Do not wear this out in the sun without lots of extra covering, 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 covering covers. Shirts, long sleeve shirts, do that or a rashy. <laughs> Be sun safe. Okay, we've got some pans on the wall. <laughs> I got distracted. And uh, now we've got more outward facing studs going there on the front. Pink lining going up here is just like an ice cream colored building. <laughs> it's fabulous. Right now, what goes inside? Okay, so this is an apartment. This is Nora's little apartment. So this is a couch going underneath her inadequately SPF sunscreen. And she's got a handbag right next to it. There's not going to be, I love the little balconette. It's just adorable. It's just going to let those, 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 ah, oh, those ocean breezes in. This is her reduced kitchenette, I think. She's cooking pretzels. Good on you, Nana Nora. Everyone loves pretzels. They are salty though. They may look, make everybody quite thirsty. So we've got the kitchen top thing there. We've got a cup of tea over here and on the kitchen top, she is, she's got her, got her kettle. It's <laughs> just be really bad if that was actually an electric kettle and she was trying to do it on the stove top because that does not end well. And this is a lovely, a little little table for yeah for a flower and that's basically it is that is there room for anything else I don't think so this is <laughs> Nana Nora lives a very minimalistic life she does not need a bed she doesn't need much in the way of anything except for tea and a couch and you know what I hear you Nana Nora I really do if there were books in here I'd be totally set toilet would be awesome though 
shower quite often too. But you know, ah, uh, I think Nana Nora needs a proper apartment. Maybe this is just her little hideout for when she, when, like she pops up here for when she's not working at the surface shop. Anyway, I've digressed quite far. I got a bit excited about Nana Nora's life there and started hypothesizing about what it could be. We've got to the end of this bag and now I think we might no, we're up to bag number seven. Do we get to put these together yet? We do not. We're heading back down into the surf shop, building a buildable, building a buildable, yes, those are words, building a buildable surfboard as the sign for out the front of the surf shop. So it is yellow on one side. We've got a white stripe down the middle and we've got magenta on the other side. And that plugs into that hook, which is still just sitting there enticingly at the top of this wall. That's fabulous. You can angle. I think it needs to be angled on the corner like that. I think that looks really good. Now, what's gone into the surf shop? I'm going to guess surfboards would be a pretty big given for this, but at the moment I'm not, it's not looking like surfboards. So we've got, okay, we've got some paddles for, for the surfboards, two different types of paddles. And then this here's got some little technique bits on the front. <gasps> now we get our surfboards. So they're going to be here and they're going to sit really weird. But maybe when we put them up here. Oh no, hold on. I need to put them. Yeah, I need to put them down one. There we go. So they look like it's an illusion. An illusion of whether they're actually sitting in those, in those little containers there. But they're actually yeah, securely attached to the wall. What else have we got? We've got a display section here. I think there's a hingy thing going on. There's another little container. This is our hingy angled bit. And on the hingy angled bit, we have got two little pin holders and we have got some, some sunglasses. But you know what? I also think in this instance, they look like um, a scuba glasses. Is that what you call them? Scuba -go goggles. <laughs> ah, scuba goggles. And some flippers. Got two flippers. Two flippers. We got flippers and we've got some scuba goggles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So I think this is kitted out as we could probably fit into this little teeny tiny shop. But what have we got now? We get another turquoise plate and some angled sloopy things. I suppose sloopy things are always angled. Are they? Oh, actually, now I need to think about that. But I don't have time at the moment. I've got to keep looking at what I'm doing. I'll think about angled slopes later. Smoothing over the top. This looks like, oh, that's like just the tiniest nod to a chimney there. So that's your chimney check. And up here, this is obviously going to be right up the top if this is where the chimney is. Oh, Nana Nora has got a rooftop garden. So we got some green things growing here. Watermelon. This is the second time I've seen this watermelon. The first time was in uh, Olivia's Flamingo Cube. Got some strawberries, nice and ripe, ready for her to make jam. Got a basket to put the produce in. And then we have got some random grey thing with a grey sticky outy bit. Mm -hmm. And a black, a black hand holdery thing. This is a <laughs> this is a watering can. Is it though? Yes, it is. It definitely could. It definitely. Yep. Yeah. It's a watering can. <laughs> it's fabulous. I love a buildable watering can. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> totally looks just like a watering can. Okay, that is cool. I love her little rooftop garden. <laughs> She probably could have done with a toilet, but rooftop gardens are nice. Okay, let's see. What do we have now? We have got a circle with a recycling sign on it, and that goes over here. So what are we recycling? Oh, okay, so we put our bin here. This is for recycled goods only. <laughs> We're recycling the bluefish. Yeah, you don't eat them bluefish. Them bluefish, they're no good. So straight in the recycling for them. Up here, we've got a carrot, which has doesn't fit in the basket like that. We'll just lay it on top of the basket. Got a nice fresh carrot for Nana Nora's tea. Mm -mm. Now we can plug these together. Look at that. It's beautiful. The colors are just so happy. The colors are insane, but it all works. You know, I don't know how. If I tried to use all these colors, it'd just, it'd just look like rainbow vomit. It'd be frightening but oh lego you've managed to match them so beautifully we get a little bit of foliage here on these little spots where we can you know which have obviously been sitting there waiting for something to be plugged into them use a stalk to hold them in place just another one up here and then i think we are done dun, 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 i think so what do we have at the end of this bag we've got a few extra pieces we've got an extra paddle another 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 flipper just one for ava and her one foot we could no let's not do that let's just... <laughs> oh ava another one of these little black hand holder bar things and we have got more uh, <clears throat> sunglasses i'm not going to try and call them whatever i called them before so we got enough sunglasses for everybody now 
that's really cool. Okay, this set, very much a big tick from me. It's so colourful. It's really whimsical. It's got lots and lots of play elements. And, you know, bypassing all of that, it really looks fantastic on display. It is a splash of fabulous colour. All right, what am I going to build next? Well, you have to subscribe to find out. Leave me a comment, give the video a thumbs up, do all of the things, and I'll be back with another thing very soon. Because I'm off to do all of the things too. Things. See ya.